Hi everyone, this is me, Mormon Birch, reporting for kids first, age 11 and 3 fourths, and today we're reviewing the adorable and amazing movie called Octonaut Slime Time. Now, brought to you by N Circle Entertainment, they added yet another great adventure and another DVD series to add to their wonderful collection. I absolutely loved this series because it's fun to watch and it's very educational as well. It sparks up children's imaginations as well as telling them that it's okay and that they should protect the oceans and the wonderful creatures that live in them because they are very important to our survival as well as telling them that it's okay. And I really do like that they're inspiring kids to be marine biologists and doing incredible deeds as well. Now we have an incredible, wonderful cast who did just wonderful jobs of doing these fantastic voiceovers, including Ross Breen, who plays Captain Barnacles. Now, he's actually a very kind polar bear, and he's the captain of the ship. I think that he was very good at doing his job, and I think that he needs to keep on being an octonaut, because he's doing a wonderful job so far. Then we have my favorite character, Shellington, Kent Wickenham. He did an amazing job. He really brings out the brilliance of this character, as well as his friendliness, and he knows a lot about the oceanic creatures in the ocean, and I think that's pretty smart. He is doing a great job of bringing marine biologists, and I think he keeps on going. Then we have Joe Watt, who is Tweak. She is absolutely adorable. She's a southwestern bunny, and she can fix a gadget or two if you ever need anything fixed. I love her southern draw, and it was actually really funny watching this. Plus, she's very adorable. And I'm happy that they're showing more female characters in this series, including Dashi, who's Tara Grinhire. She's actually a wonderful character, and she's a little adorable dog, who I absolutely love. Then we have Michael Murphy, who plays the cutest things ever, Vegemalls. You might not have ever heard of them, but they're absolutely adorable. I loved it when they were trying to bake a sea cake for sea pigs. And then when they were um, making fish cookies and fish biscuits, they're just so adorable. And even though they don't speak English, whatever language they speak, it's absolutely adorable. And they have really high squeaky voices, which just make you want to laugh and smile through this entire episode that they're in which is multiple choices actually. Then after that, I absolutely loved the animation. It was so colorful and bright and vivid, I really think that children of all ages will like this because it's very great and it teaches them about their imagination. And I really like that they bring these characters out to life with this vivid animation as well as the bright colors and it keeps us entertained and liking this much more. Now, my favorite part about the entire episodes is that after each episode, they have a creature report, which basically refreshes or basically tells us again what we learned about, for example, the sea pigs. It tells them what they're like, what do they do, and what do we learn about them. And then it actually shows a real picture of what the animals look like in person and in real life. That's what I call pretty cool, and I really like the way that they transformed these pictures and made these characters and animals into brand new cartoons. Characters, that is. And I really did like that. The, my favorite scene or episode was probably marine iguanas. I had no idea that there were even marine iguanas, and I really liked the conflict and re resolution they had. And it was actually a very smart way, and the seaweed was actually very funny, and the way they were trying to get into the octopod and everything was just hysterical. Plus, they are very nice, mean, but you know what? They're little grumps, so it's pretty funny. The perfect age range for this is probably 4 through 18 and up. All kids of all ages will probably love all the new creatures that they're going to learn about, and they can bring this knowledge to school and tell their teachers and family and friends about it. And then the adults will probably like this because they'll learn new facts about animals and might even learn about a couple of new animals as well, which is something great for the entire family. So I think this is perfect for just a family to sit down and watch. Plus, they're only about like 11 minutes each, so that's probably good for amount of time for everybody, really. I give this four and a half out of five oceanic starfish. Bye, see you next month, kids first, where we tell your kids what they should be watching. Not by adults, but real kids telling other kids about movies and so much more. Bye, see you next time. This is Morgan Birch signing out.